The following program is suitable for family viewing. Well, non-family members can join in too. Amaka is about to make these yam chips happen. Oh, we left the cat out of the bag. And I even told you, it was meant to be a surprise. But the best part of my activity is when it comes to people who know me know I'm a flame guy. So I'm about to make this fish. Okay. Awesome fish. Wow. So while you're on, I'll be on. Okay. I think I'm hungry. Me too. Oh. So basically, like, um, what do we do? A little, just, a, little, a little smaller than one inch. A little smaller? The one inch. Okay, so I don't think I need this, so it's going to be a little smaller. There we go. Okay. That's definitely not a little smaller. Go big or go home. Who even? Where does stuff like that come up? So, just a little, a little or no oil, because I'd already put oil in the fish, but I'm not in the mood to surprise myself. So I just have a little. It is basically, you might want to call it half a teaspoon, just to, you could perceive that. Mm. Yes, I can. I have one song. It's smelling like heaven to me. <laughs> it's smelling like heaven to me. You want to, you want to try? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's safe. Yes. You know it's hot. So we will take presentation side first. So there we go. We're just trying to share the fish. How does this look, girl? How does this look? Wow. Is that the particular color it's going to retain or now, you, brown? If you want to go brown, okay. you just have to flip. But if you notice, I'm basically flipping in less than 20 seconds. I, can, I have this counter in my head. Okay. Why is, I want to cook, I want to cook, I want to distribute the heat on the top and below evenly. Okay. So it's turn, 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 turn. until it's perfect. So I can monitor how how much mm. of the char I want to achieve you know, compared to... The look can actually make the viewers think it's steaks. It's looking really... Yeah, different. it has that look. That's the good part. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it one piece at a time. So let me see my best turn. Yes, your beast. Your beast thing. Mm. So we have one down. How many more to go? Mm. Yes. Six more. Press down. Tree. You're rocking my world, girl. You just, you're just like steps ahead of me. And like I said, I have my concern. <laughs> okay. So fish good. Beautiful. So Tell me they look beautiful. Just wash me a little. Even mm. if they don't. They look good. It looks good. They look good, like look good, look good, or look good, don't look good. I'd say they look beautiful and taste beautiful eventually after I have a taste of it. So for now, they look good. Oh. <laughs> Why is she like this? At least that's a compliment. Okay, if that's a compliment, I would say thank you very much. You're welcome. So we, we're trying to take the yam to another level. Okay. Now, we had the option of Seven fried yam, 12 volt. Now, for fried yam, we would have done what? Fried um, oil. Yes, with a lot of oil, oil because it would have been raw. Oil. Keep frying. That keep. way, we lose complex starch. Wow. But let's do this. Because the yam is already cooked. Okay. What we're basically doing is charring. Charring, we want a certain kind of crunch. Okay. 
Little is like this little, little enough to just share this. Wow. Yeah, I think that that's how little. Okay. Little enough to just share this. So it's gold. It looks like jewelry. You could use this for a pendant. It does look like jewelry. <laughs> you use it for a pendant. But most importantly is the fact that it is healthier. And little oil in batches just for the charring effect. Nothing too suicidal. Okay. So, there you have it. Enjoy what you love, but have it happen healthier. It's looking like heaven too. Hmm, really looking like heaven. It's looking like heaven too. I can already celebrate it, so. Really? Yes, I really. can. Really? Oh, that. That's like, that's like, that's like the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> okay. You just made me happy. Like, made me really happy. So, I'm going to play with a little bit of your peppers. Okay. Just a little for. You should just intensify mm -hmm. the aroma or the flavor of the oil. Then this go back in. Oh, touch up. Nice. Nice, your head is there. <laughs> so it's like having your yam and chips, but as oh, one dish. Okay, how long is that going to be? Just enough to char it. Okay. Because you're directly impacting flavor on the yam, which is so cool. A little bit of spring onions. It's all about the flavor. So we crank up the heat. Just roll that. And let's just start making this happen. So this beauty. I think what's getting to me is the aroma mm. and the char. <coughs> cool. It happens that convenient. Now, if I talked about Egusi being very fatty. Yes, yes, you did say that. These guys are so fat. They have like 70%. 70? Wow. It's that fatty. So why we're so thin it is, we're also trying to denature it. So that way we can render some of the fat. Okay. In Egusi. So people who want to add weight, you could probably chew like two cups of Egusi every day. People who want to lose weight, the next time you're out there trying to eat and you find Egusi, just like, no, pass. So in. Just a little. I think we should add some there. Mm, just pops up like that. Like popcorn. Yes, like popcorn, but it doesn't have a split, so. See this? Wow. It's different. I'm giving you. Mm. So fish. What do you think pops into my eye? And then for <laughs> caramelization. So we're done with this? We're not going to use this. Yeah, we're. Good. Yes. So it doesn't have a square time. What's just looks like it's brown. Brown is. Okay. Mm, nice. so, well, this is hot enough. I remember at Picasso's surprise, not forgetting our fish cackers. Wow, this fish looks so angry. Careful. Whew. Whew. Ooh. That was really cool. So, remember what this whole drama has been all about is trying to impress the lovely lady Amaka who, as we all saw, took over the kitchen and cut the vegetables so beautifully, made the yam happen and all I did was talk, 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 talk and walk on the fish. So we basically have, at this point in time, we have fried yam sweetened with chard, chard. spring onion. Yes with fish fillet, with a fish fillet, fillet. triangled and cubed, 
Then we have our toasted egusi, and all we are trying to achieve now is yeah. our vegetable sauce. Yes, okay. Cool. That's like great. Something like a lot of things just happened then. Yeah. Well, after you to clap for yourself. No, since you have that progression, I'll just okay. let you do it. Basically, because yeah. cause you're, you're, you're here and Ooh. you're making it happen, you just have the progression. That's why I asked, do you have the progression? And you said, no. I'm okay, not let's do it together. Let's just throw things in. Okay. Progression or no progression. Peppers. Peppers. The red bell and the green. The red bell and green. The green, more is, oil. We need a little bit of water, not even oil. Okay. okay. A little bit of water will do. Let's have that. We have red this. Bell. The bell, the green. green bell, tomatoes, tomatoes. This. spring, autumn, let's see. It'll be nice. Now, what I did was we still had a little bit of ketchup, paste, okay. and to make it sweet. Okay. But now, this is sweet. But we don't want it overly sweet. So cooking spoon. <coughs> yeah. There you go. Okay. Knock yourself out. Okay. Now we haven't put any ingredients or seasoning. Any seasoning yet. Why haven't we? Because we need this to cook a little bit. First. And we're trying to extract the natural flavors okay. that okay. those ingredients offer. Most importantly, we want to retain the color. Okay. So, just we need like a tasting spoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a little. Salt. Okay, so about. Wow. A little bit more. Shall you do the honors? It's been, okay. it's been, it's about you. Okay. How much quantity are we gonna put? Just in about a handful. Okay. Let's see how that goes. It'd be beautiful if we just dice it lunch in a week of it, so. Okay, and then use it as a base yes. for the fish, the platform. all the sides. On the, since the fish is rather, okay, let's see. Yes, uh, let's see. Mm. Cool, you say what this we should have yes, it? Yes, just maintain like the this. pattern, yes. Okay, and then, okay, hopefully you just move it over. It just works with tomatoes so well. Okay. And it's time to make magic happen. The best part, we have a little kini kini kini, so that you don't want the sauce running all over the plate. Hmm, this guy, you, I have plans. Yeah. Here. Here. And here. So what do you want to do? Want to put the sauce in there? Okay. I don't even know whether it's in soup. You test that. Mm. That was bland, which was okay. was bland and flavorful, which is the modernist way of food because you don't want it too salty. Okay. I tell members of my team that if I taste food and what comes instantly is salt, it means you have gone overly with salt. Mm. But if I can taste the sweetness, if I can taste the blandness, if I can taste a sharp flavor, if I can taste heat from pepper, okay. all of that makes it an experience rather than taste. So we're running away from taste and usually what do we just flavor with seasoning cubes and salt and all of that just gives you that unified. That's why a soup would taste like a stew, a oh. porridge would taste like a soup, soup 
because the essence of those ingredients have not been protected in the coffee preparation. So I'm hoping, but I'm certain, that that we have achieved here. So a little... Of sauce. Yeah, the swivel is so that okay. you have the. Let's see. Let's not be afraid to go higher. Higher, higher. This looks like a rainbow. Mm -hmm. Someone sang a rainbow song. Rainbow? You are my rainbow. Oh, yes, true. <laughs> then we now have. It should also look very beautiful. And the shape should, you can see, it's basically art. I could, it shouldn't look all flat out. It should look like a painting, drawing, like something that was crafted, something that was thought of. Now in that thinking, where do we, do not fall, do not fall. So we have the sauce, like the rainbow sauce. <laughs> and then we have that, the fish. The fish, okay, this, since this is a tribute to you, mm. like let's just say a post-Valentine's Day treat, I would want to put this fish here as well. Ah, oh, you asked for the squares. And you already put the triangle. How selfish of me. Okay, let's hide that triangle with a square. Okay, fine, it's fine. So I'm stealing your good books. Yes, you are. So let's see, another triangle-like square. <laughs> Do not fall. Already looking perfect. Let's see. Okay, let me get a smaller one. Mm. Hmm. And of course, this is where then we remember our lemon. So that it heightens the flavor of the fish. And then, if you have any of those, like this is. Uh, mixed pepper seasoning I usually carry around. Okay. So what does it Just call it? Just call it suya spice. Suya spice. But I make my own. It's called Yaji. Yaji. And I think that book is called Yaji. Okay, you have you have dried ginger. Okay, dried ginger. Yes, you have um, you have a bit of granite in it as well. Granite. You have fresh peppers. Fresh pepper. Then I throw in a bit of suya. I throw in a bit of pepper soup spice. Okay, pepper soup spice. Yes. Okay. There's one they call taiko. People use for banga. Oh. Since okay. you're Delta, you should know. Taiko. Yes, I do. So all of that just heightens flavors, oh. especially when your dish is done. So, okay. so just need a little. And darling, this is me wishing you a happy Valentine. And, and the tomatoes. Tomato, just is an drink, mm, No, we already had that for decorating our dish. So, so it doesn't become too. Okay, let's come this way. Okay. And give that a name, darling. Mm. I'm done. So, this dish I present to you as a post Valentine gift. Mm. It was your idea to have the tomato come in there, but to me, that those are roses. Do you understand? Like tomato roses? Tomato roses. Yes, that's, okay. that's like so, in, in the spirit of. I hope it's nice though. Okay. Mm. Okay. Where we... mm. 
Mm, this flavor is actually very nice. It, it, it just brings out the yam in a different way. Okay. Wow, that, that. this tastes nice. This is very, very delicious. Mm. Sincerely? It is. Okay, now you want to try, you want to try putting the elements on the plate, which is also okay. another way. So you have um, the fish, the yam, and the sauce in your mouth okay, at I the same time. I think I have a bit of that around here, so I can just... Okay, yeah. and then because you have the, the toast that goes that way. So you basically want one mouthful. Okay. Like a mini canapé, but a combination of one, two, three mm. items. Your mouth is just really neat. <laughs> but it would go. It would go using that small okay. piece. So let's just have that element on the plate fusion play out. Okay, let's have this first. Okay, that works. Is it long throw that is catching me or what? Mm. I mean, I'm weak. Yo. Yes, that goes okay. and then a little bit of the yam. Wow, it actually tastes really nice. The whole combination is perfect. Mm. I had to stand back and, and watch. And you know, the lemon actually did come out very well. Okay. It changed the flavor and the taste of the fish. It brought it everything, it changed every taste of coca. You can't actually taste it's coca. Mm. It's really nice, really, really delicious. So would you love that I cook for you again some other day? Definitely, another time, another time, and another time. Oh, I wish I had a ring in my pocket because <laughs> we had definitely another time and another time and another time. It sounds like a lifetime of having to cook for this beautiful girl. But I hope it was educative. And do not be afraid of trying new culinary experiences. If you think it would be easier having somebody as beautiful as this, stand beside you, help you all through the way, knock yourself out. Taste buds, the most important thing about everything. So we come. Your way. I'm Victor. I'm a Maka. Wonderful. I did enjoy myself. Uh, the best part of this meal was when I had to dice all the vegetables together. It looked pretty dicing it in square and Victor did teach me how to use lemon. It was perfect too. I never had lemon before in food or fish particularly. I did have a nice flavor after all said and done. And another part I did enjoy was the yam. The shapes, he just wanted something different and I really liked the idea. I enjoyed doing that together with him. That's basically all I liked. And I hope you also had fun watching me do this. Amaka nailed it on today's episode. On today's program, today's Amaka. Yes, that, 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 that's Amaka personally. New Bay, fine girl. <laughs> Um, Amaka Y. Amaka, thank you for making today happen. You're I look forward, like you said, you look forward to cooking with me again. Again. I look yeah. forward to cooking with you. Not cooking you though, because that would mean you're. <laughs> so we come your way next time. This is Stays Boards. My name is Victor, aka at Kitchen Victory. Cook healthy. And I'm Stay Amaka. Safe. Oh, and she's Amaka. We are, we be on our people. Okay. We don't finish. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.